Well, Occupy protesters at Victoria Square are packing up. They've been down there for more than a month, but after police handed out eviction notices last night and this morning, many appear to have decided it's time to go. Peter Ackman's down at the camp right now. So, Peter, uh, bring us up to speed. What's happening at the site right now? Well, since those eviction notices went out, Andrew, the pack-up has begun at least for about a quarter of the protesters. You can see a lot of the things that they've been using uh, during the last five weeks. Uh, protest signed pallets that they've been staying dry and off the ground during the rain and the snow that's uh, hit them during that time. But many of them say, the remaindering say, that they're planning on sticking it out until they're escorted off. It was a picture-perfect morning at Occupy Montreal. Occupiers rose to greet another day of protest at Victoria Square. Life is beautiful here. But by mid-morning, their serenity was shattered. As dozens of police officers blanketed the camp with eviction notices. Some yeah. chick handed out these flyers. We don't even, I'm know. supposed to wet my pants. What the city actually wants is for all of the tents and structures to be taken down and for everyone sleeping in the square to leave immediately. Or else? Well, police wouldn't say. That refusal to even speak with protesters and the perceived flip-flop by the city on tolerating their occupation has angered many in the camp. They say forcing them to dig in their heels. We need to stand together because, you know, divided we fall. So. Well, I'm here since day one. I'm still here today. What about tomorrow? We'll see tomorrow. But some people aren't waiting to see what happens when police come back to enforce the notices. Tents are being taken down, valuables removed, and many protesters are considering this occupation over. If everybody gets together and maybe makes a decision to stay, but I'm most likely going to be trying to find somewhere warm to go. Now, there will be a vote at around 6.30 tonight by the General Council to decide whether they pack up tonight and go before the midnight deadline or stick it out until they're escorted off. Now, we are hearing that a city worker actually came and spoke to some of the protesters, saying that tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. there'll be 27 city workers and 100 police officers to make sure everybody's gone.